Hey guys, welcome to Garland Collections. I'm Annabelle if you're new here and if you're coming back, hello and welcome back. Today we have a little bit of an agenda ahead of us because we are celebrating my sister's birthday today and it's like a summer backyard dinner party. We're gonna be decorating her birthday cake so excited. We're gonna be getting ready for the party, so like doing some light makeup and putting on a cute little outfit. We're gonna go to the grocery store, get all the stuff for the charcuterie board, and then put together the charcuterie board. Listen, you don't have to worry. I already know what you want, a grocery haul. Grocery haul, grocery haul, fine. Before I even show you what I got, I need to tell you an amazing experience I had. I was at like the cheese bar and I was clearly looking very carefully at the cheeses because I was like, I want to make a good selection here. And the woman behind the counter was like angelic and so nice. She was like, do you want to try like one of the most expensive cheddar cheeses in the store? And I was like, yes, obviously. Does, I was like, does anyone say no to that? And she was like, I knew that would get you. And I was like, oh my God, she literally wanted me to try this cheese. <sighs> she like cut it so, so thinly. She was like, it's gonna melt in your mouth. It's literally 20 year old age cheddar cheese. She was like, you're gonna love it, I already know. And I was like, this is like restaurant quality cheese. I put it in my mouth and like melted in my mouth. It was so good. And that just like made my day that she really wanted to do that. I just, she like sought me out, you know? Wow, that was amazing. Okay, let's get into the grocery haul. I only got one bag of stuff cause it is just one charcuterie board. I could have gone a lot harder. I could have spent a lot more. I restrained myself from going like crazy hard. Also, I need to redo my bun because it's annoying me how it's on like one side of my head. I got these olive oil and sea salt gluten-free crackers. I also got these soft dried apricots, apricots. They're basically like Ritz crackers, but the Whole Foods version. Obviously Ritz is probably even better, but these are just delectable. I do know that I got these grapes and they look delish. I love how they're like, can you see how they're like kind of tiny? I don't know, it just felt like such a vibe for the charcuterie board to have like tiny grapes. I also got marmalade jam because I love this on toast in the morning, but also I felt like it would add a nice little tang to have that like, you could scoop on top of a cheese and cracker and have a little tang moment. Jam is an essential part of a charcuterie board. Don't forget that. I got this gorgeous looking brie, I mean, what more could you ask for? It's literally local. I got this little mini salami package. Like they're so tiny and cute. And I was like, I know my brother will eat this. And then I got these very cute organic strawberries. I love doing a sliced strawberry moment on a charcuterie board. They're so pretty, they're so delicious, and these just looked so irresistible. Then the last two things I got were both cheeses. I got this Cabot Seriously Sharp Cheddar Cheese, and then this was one of the fancier things that I got. I got this like Gruyere, I think that's how you say it? Gruyere, Gruyere cheese. I think that that's like a generally liked cheese. I tried to get like generally liked cheeses because no one in my family is like a cheese nerd. Is there like a more appropriate, is there like a term for someone like a cheese connoisseur? No one in my family is really a cheese connoisseur, to my knowledge. I mean, 
maybe they are that's everything i got so welcome to my bathroom okay when it comes to makeup i am such a minimalist a lot of times i don't even bother but i'm trying to like put a little more effort in just to feel good you know if you feel like putting on makeup it can really feel like an act of self-care i really identify with merit beauty and their approach because they embrace a minimalist approach rather than like trying to say you need to do more super excited to show you these products this is the flush bomb in beverly hills i love the color i just take it on my finger and i do a little bit up my cheek i already have kind of pinky skin so i don't go too hard with the blush then i use the day glow highlighter stick it just looks like this it's so easy to apply literally i just smudge it on like so I really love a creamy highlighter and this one just applies like a dream, so I love that. I also forgot to put Aquaphor on my lips. Absolutely a must. And I have this tinted lip oil called Shade Slick. I got the color Au Natural and I'm just going to do a tiny dab and then blend it in. Because I love how that gives me just a little bit of color, but in a really sheer and like subtle way. And then the last thing I'll use is this Clean Lash Mascara. And I love how natural this mascara is. It gives you a really just clean, wispy look. And thank you so much to Merit for working with me on this video. Guys, this is my first like sponsored brand video. So I'm so excited, woo! And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. We're gonna go make our charcuterie board. Woo! I'm so excited! Welcome to charcuterie school lesson one. No, I'm kidding. So I'm gonna put down some of the cheeses first. Another thing that I love to do is, as you can see here, like pre-cut some of the cheese so it looks like it's kind of falling over. I just feel like that always looks so good. And this vine is just so gorgeous, I don't wanna disrupt it and I'm gonna let it spill over the side a little bit. Since I'm the only one in my family who has to be gluten free, I'm gonna put all the crackers with gluten on the board and put my own gluten free ones just off to the side. Love if they come in a stack like this because then you can kind of lay them out and I love to really form like an arch with the crackers. See? Oh my god, I forgot to put down, I would normally put down the bowls as one of the first things and I totally forgot so I'm gonna have to kind of shift things a little bit to make a little bit of room. I'm actually gonna do apricot and fig jam. I'm just gonna spoon them in now. Now I have salami that I need to add and I also have these dried apricots that I wanted to add. And as you can see there's like very little room. Ew, oh my god. These are not what I thought. They're brown. <laughs> I thought they were gonna be orange and they're brown. They look like little turds. This is not what I envisioned, so I'm neglecting these fully and it made my decision process completely easier because I only really had room for one more thing and I'm gonna use the salami. Key to a good charcuterie board is being a maximalist unapologetically. Despite the challenges we faced, this is some of my best work. One of the best charcuterie boards I've made. And if I come up with any more tips, I will let you know, but I have no more for now. <laughs> I'm just still not over how good of a job I did. And I'll be asking every guest that comes tonight, oh, what do you think of the charcuterie board? Oh, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the right thing to do. The charcuterie board was such a hit and everyone loved the cake too. It's the King Arthur gluten-free chocolate cake mix. I'll link it down below. It's literally so good. Their yellow cake gluten-free cake mix is also really good. I think like bakers love to hate on like using a mix, but at the same time, if it's a good mix, why not? It's so easy. Yeah, we had a lot of fun at the party. It was so fun to celebrate my sister. So we made this charcuterie board together in kind of a vlog style. I didn't get quite as good footage as I wanted of it. So if you want me to make another charcuterie board video with kind of more tips 
or if you like these vlog videos, let me know down in the comments and make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below your favorite dish to have at like a backyard cookout or dinner party. Make sure you subscribe to Garland Collections if you wanna see more videos like this and you can hit the post notifications bell if you wanna get notified every time that I post. Also, I recently started using TikTok more if you wanna go follow me on there at Hello Garland Collections. I, this is like my fourth TikTok that I've started. So there are like three other Garland Collections accounts and I literally just forget my passwords to all of them. So I started another one. <laughs> None of them were like far along, so it's not a big deal. But if you see other like Garland Collections and you're wondering why, it's just me. I just can't get into those accounts. So yeah, definitely follow me on TikTok. Follow me at Garland Collections on Instagram. As always, you can check out www.garlandcollections.com to see all the latest on the blog. I love posting like recipes, more written out content content on there. I have a lot more videos coming for you, so make sure you subscribe and hit that post notifications bell. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Merit, for working with me on this video, and thank you for watching because without your support, I would not be able to do a sponsored post like this, and this is my very first one, so I'm so grateful, and I really appreciate all the support. So thanks again for watching and don't forget to comment your favorite dish. Like, do you like the charcuterie board? Do you like the mac and cheese? Are you most excited for dessert? I'm definitely most excited for dessert, I would have to say. I'm just, I'm a dessert person through and through. Also grilled peaches. The grilled peaches were so good. If you haven't had grilled peaches before and you have access to a grill and peaches, I encourage you to grill those peaches. It's just, they're so good. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.